good afternoon everybody it is still september 4th 2022 and i'm getting ready to announce another uh modification um restoration alteration of a guitar that i purchased i purchased this guitar on facebook and i paid 50 dollars for it guy wanted 85 and i paid 50 and it's in pretty good shape it's fun to show you it's a name brand, it's Behringer. I can't pronounce that, so I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> um, pretty decent shape. It's got some some paint flaws, of course, but I'm gonna redo it. And we're gonna the plan for this guitar. Just wanted to show you the present condition of the guitar. Yeah, like you can see, like under the bridge, there's some paint chipping, and there's a big chip out of it right there, and several other spots. But in general, the fretboard looks pretty good. I'll have to fix the little spot in the binding there and another spot or two but there's no major dings or dents on the back of the neck so that's pretty awesome and what the plan for this guitar is going to be is we're going to do the the glitter blue paint and i'm going to swap out the bridge with a chrome brand new bridge um we're going to change the pick guard to white so we're going to cut a custom pick guard um i'm not sure if i'm deciding whether i'm gonna do a volume or a tone but definitely a volume uh two tap or a switch uh coil split rather so it's gonna be popping up and down it's gonna have a single white humbucker pickup dual dual like that but white just single all it's not gonna have a neck pickup or a middle pickup um like i said we're gonna do the white pick guard uh three ply so we're gonna make a homemade three ply we're gonna clone that exactly and uh we're gonna sand of course everything smooth and perfect and we're gonna make the headstock the uh glitter blue and let me show you the paint that we're gonna go with after we get done sanding it and making it perfect and everything like that we'll go with a metallic blue first and we're gonna go with this right here rustolium blue um, after the primer coats and filling and everything making it all perfect and then we're gonna do the glitter paint so we're gonna do the glitter glitter blue and it's gonna look really awesome it's gonna have the glitter glitter paint so it's gonna be really awesome looking and then we're gonna do the 2k clear coat over that so and I consider doing the neck but the neck is really good shape and it's got this really good coating on the neck so I'm just gonna do the front of the headstock so all right, so we'll call this one the Behringer Electric Guitar Modification Build. As you can see, there's some spots here. But I already uh, checked it out, and I'm probably going to have to shim the neck, but then I'll readjust it. But the fretboard's in pretty good shape. It's got a few high frets uh, here and there. But I'll clean it up and make it perfect, and I'll try to get it as white as possible. But yeah, I really dig the shape, so that is pretty killer. Yeah, when it's that uh, glitter blue, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really pop. But I'm going to change uh, the bridge. It's, I'm going to keep the tuners. The tuners are really good. Pretty good shape. Um, change out string trees to the ones that I like. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have the white pickup with the white pickguard. And uh, white hardware. White knobs. And like I said, I haven't really decided. I think I'll do a, probably do a kill switch right there. And then a volume right there. So the volume push-pull splitting of the coil. And I could do a tone, and I could do like the uh, the kill switch somewhere, somewhere else, or the uh, um, yeah the kill switch. I could do it somewhere else, or I could just do the volume with the kill switch. We'll just decide that when we get to that point. All right, so just wanted to show you the guitar, and it looks pretty cool. And the first step, of course, is going to be uh, I'm going to figure out the uh, the neck shim. Because if I do, you know, when I do shim the neck, I'm going to probably fill in the neck pocket there where it's shimmed. So that way it's perfectly lined up and it looks perfect like it was supposed to be. So, alright. So there we go. And we'll do that and we'll shim it and figure that out. Um, but we'll more or less we'll disassemble, disassemble the guitar completely. And then all the parts and then start working on the body, making the body perfect. But alright. That's that. The Behringer modification guitar, electric guitar build will start here today probably. And hopefully everybody's having a good day and we'll see you soon. Alright, how are we doing? Okay, alright, we're starting to work on the Behringer 
uh, mod guitar modification build. So, and we're figuring out the. Um, I took off the back uh, cavity plate, um, the springs, and I'm figuring out the shim. So I'm probably gonna. These strings are really old and crusty, so kind of probably replace the strings real quick with some uh, some spare springs, the music yo strings that I have, and I'll get the uh, the neck dialed in to where it needs to be. And then once I do that, then we'll go ahead and go ahead and disassemble the guitar. But I'll probably put a sh small shim in there because the reason I want to shim it, let me show you real quick, is right now where the strings are at, the, the action is super high. And I don't want to, you know, the saddle screws, I don't want to go really low. So, um, and there is a little bit of, there's going to be some play with the spring. Because it didn't, there wasn't a whammy bar with the spring when I got it. Uh, the new one I'm going to order, of course, does have the bar. But uh, when the spring tensions like less, these are probably nine gauge strings. So I'll put the other strings on there, and we'll see that it'll pull up. Because you know you want a little bit of gap between the bridge and the body, as far as on this end. And there wasn't. They had it straight to the body. It looks like they were just doing like a stop. And whoever had it before was just, you know, having it straight down on the body. So. All right, so let me replace the strings real quick, and then we'll figure out. I'll probably put a little shim in there. Well, let me take off the strings, and then take off the neck, and we'll be right back. All right, the neck, I took off the neck. And now I'm going to shim the body a little bit, shim the neck. Um, and what the way I do that usually, um, depending on which direction you want to shim, I usually take a old pick. Um, in this case, I use Dunlop, and this is a one millimeter pick. And what I'll do is I'll cut it in half. And then I'll place the bits in the back here and then I'll put the neck in and it'll adjust the it'll shift the neck just slightly back that way that way there's more room as far as the uh, the bridge is concerned actually uh, yeah so let me uh, let me figure this out I'll be right back okay that's what I mean actually when I cut the pick cut the pick and I take the pieces and I put the pieces in the back of the neck like that and then I put the neck back in place and I'll show you, I'll put the neck back on and then I'll bolt it back on and then I'll show you the difference um, in the height. It actually shifts the neck ever so slightly this way and so it'll improve the action. So I'll be right back. Okay, I reattached the neck and as you can see, the uh, the angle of the neck pocket, let me show you. The angle of the neck has shifted slightly, it's still pretty pretty flat pretty uh, regulated but it is pitched back a little bit and you can see right here let me see if I can get this on camera there's a little bit of a gap on this side if you can yeah little focus a little bit of gap underneath there not a major one but a little bit of a gap and that's what happens when you shim so I'm gonna put some strings on there and see how that fared see if I need to add a little bit more material in that neck pocket there for a better deeper shim or not and we'll be right back all right got the neck pocket dialed in got the shim mm -hmm. it was just the the one one millimeter pick and the action is perfect now let me show you real quick the change yeah it looks pretty good i got it intonated and dialed in and of course the really kind of crappy pickups and there are a couple high frets so it's definitely going to be level crowned and polished on the frets but we're good to go. I was able to get the center line perfect. I'm gonna have to replace the nut because as you can see, whoever uh, changed out the nut, it's not exactly even the, uh, the E strings are definitely off. So I'll replace the nut. I do have a nut and this nut's really kind of cheap anyway. It's kind of a crappy nut. All right, so the next step is take strings off, uh, dismantle the guitar and then start working on the body. And I'm gonna like I said, I ordered already ordered the three three ply white pickup uh, pickguard material. So we're gonna make an exact copy of that with just the bridge pickup, and uh, we're gonna go with the Strat style knob, probably just the volume knob and a kill switch. Eliminate the three way switch and the center pickup and the neck pickup, and uh, be good to go. And we're gonna swap out all the hardware that's black for chrome. And I think I am gonna replace these tuners. These tuners are kind of rusted out and they are kind of crappy. So we'll replace that. So let me uh, dismantle everything and we'll be right back. Um, we'll do a quick uh, sound demo. Let's see if I can, uh, well, 
Just trust me, it doesn't, the pickup's crappy, but it's dialed in good enough with the nut being the way it is, everything like that. So it'll be fine. So let me dismantle the guitar, get all the parts in a bag, and then we'll start working on the body and start making the body. Uh, this better light in here, you can see it's banged, dinged, and everything like that. Oh, one more thing too, the, um, I think somebody, whoever had this guitar, the, the nut, or the plate was on backwards, because, uh, normally these plates with the screws, they're countersunk, but it was flipped the opposite direction, so for some reason, because I noticed that the screws weren't all the way too, you know, all the way seated, and that's why, so, and, uh, so I don't know if somebody was tinkering it, you just never know. All right. Me take it apart and we'll be right back well in a little while it'll seem like seconds <laughs> all right see you in a bit all right got the guitar completely dismantled all the parts i'll probably save a bunch of these parts maybe use them on another build and here's the body as it looks right now before i do any work to it I'm gonna clean it up and then there's a I'm gonna put some body filler i got some body filler i gotta put here wherever the paint is chipping where there's any kind of dents so i'll put some body filler especially over here and then we'll put a good sand probably sand it down to maybe 320 grit maybe 600 grit and then get it ready for prep for paint so and then uh, I noticed that the pick card wasn't exactly the right shape um, it was a little bit I'll have to adjust here when I make the new one and make it you know fit the guitar body better than the original the factory one was made but like i said i'll make a separate one and i'll probably cut this up and then that pickup was eh, it was okay it was i've got tons of those kind of pickups i don't know if i'll save anything like that but yeah it's, it was well routed for a you know full cool route they call that so we're good to go so all right i get my mess cleaned up here and then i'll uh, get some body filler out and we'll doctor up some of these spots and maybe get a sand on this body today it's already 311 I'll see if I ever have any primer in the house maybe if I get to that point and see in the body really good and get everything squared away really well then maybe we can get some primer on here and get it on the hanger and see how that goes all right and we'll see you in a little bit all right another quick update I got the body and the pick card all free from everything and what I'll do is you know, like I'll cut that out of the the three ply material i do have some three ply material on hand and i can probably see if i could probably fit that in what i have and then save that what i ordered for another build but yeah i see a little bit so i to make sure that all the paint is chipped away that's going to fall off anything that's fractured like there and then i'll fill it with some body filler make sure that nothing else is ready to chip off and any kind of dents or dings filled with body filler and then we'll put a good sand on here. I'll start probably some 120 grit and then work our way up to 320. So, all right, let me get that going and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we got the operation outside. I'm gonna get some uh, 120, some 80 grit on the, uh, the bondo filler that I did and then we'll do a good sand on the body and see what we come up with. And maybe we could put on a hanger and apply some uh, got some leftover bonding primer and about a half a can of filler primer so we'll use what we got and we'll see in a little bit all right we are sanded and blown off and ready for some primer coats so uh, just wanted to show it to you before we go with some primer and then we'll let that cure a bit and then sand on that for a while and we'll take it to the next step all right we'll see you in a bit Got a few coats of white primer on there, a few spots I need to touch up, of course, but other than that, look pretty good. I'm let this cure for a while. It's just the beginning steps, so all right, and then we'll put some gray primer on there, and then uh, paint uh, the base color paint's gonna be a textured paint, so it's gonna it's gonna be able. To, so we'll see a little bit. Good morning. How's everybody doing? It is. September 5th, 2022, and we are continuing work on the Behringer Guitar Modification Transformation, and uh, we are working on the pickguard. Um, got the three-ply pickguard material here, flipped over, of course, because the glossy side is on the back side. 
Same thing with the existing pick guard. Um, and then I cut me out a little bit of a template. Um, and then I marked out where I want to make it. And I'm altering just slightly, just less pointy. And the original pick guard, like I had mentioned yesterday, didn't actually fit that well. <laughs> Let me show you what the original pick guard was doing. Uh, original pick guard uh, like that was set in there like that. This tier, and there's a big old void here that they for, they didn't cut out for the neck pocket. And this tier here was actually pushing into it. And when the neck was in there, it was like bending it out. So it, it wasn't that great. Um, so I did alter it slightly. And I made this horn just a little bit. See how it's a little, it doesn't kind of go with the line. So I shortened it. And I fattened this one just a little bit. So then I came up with this... Uh, paper cutout and the paper cutout as you can see it accommodates for the void and then adds a little girth on that extra fin and everything else is pretty much the same except for I did decide to uh, shorten this just a little bit you can't really notice but it's just a little short just for the fact that I ran out of pick material I got another one uh, coming in but I wanted to get started on the paint in order to get the paint going. I have to have this done first because I don't want to mess with the body after the painting process begins until we're assembling the guitar. So eh, drew it out on the pickguard. Like I said, this is the pickguard material. It's three ply white and it's pretty killer. And it's got the plastic film so you peel this off and it's completely glossy. So, And then I needed the uh, existing pickguard to figure out the pickup cavity uh, where that's going to go and uh, as we had mentioned before I'm eliminating the uh, neck pickup and the middle pickup and the selector switch so once I cut this out then I'm going to figure out in general where I want to put um, I'm probably just going to go with a push pull coil split uh, a volume knob and a kill switch. So the kill switch is just going to be a regular switch, click, 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 on, off, kill switch, and it's going to look really cool. And uh, that indentation, I think, was for the, you know, for style and for the selector switch, but I'm going to leave it in there. It's going to look pretty cool. So, all right, so the next step is going to be to carefully cut this out on the scroll saw. So I'll get everything going outside. And hopefully I can cut it well enough, but if I butcher it, I mean, it's just material and I can, like I said, I got another one coming through Amazon, so, but I wanted to use the stock I have on hand, because if you let the stock sit too long, it tends to bow, warp, whatever, so, yeah, and that'll be cool, because then once I figure that out and get that dialed in, and then I'll bevel the edges, because, you know, see on most pick guards, the edges are kind of beveled. Not in the pocket and in the pickup ring, but actually on the outer side, it's beveled, so it's pretty cool. And I'll sand that, and with the three-pipe binding, it's going to look really cool. And I didn't go to Walmart yesterday to pick up my go-to two-in-one primer from Krylon. I do have that rust oleum. Yeah, it's kind of like a quarter can, half a can. I remember we had issues with this, with the little balls that were shooting out, so... Um, seeing how this finish has to be somewhat uh, flat and level before I apply the textured finish because the metallic and the glitter paint is actually somewhat textured. And just to add to, to the smoothness, I'm going to go ahead and use my can and maybe not use a whole can on this body, but just enough to make it really good. And then we'll let that cure for a day or two, sand that, then we'll go with the metallic blue and then we'll start the process. Yeah, but this is crucial. I need to cut this perfectly. Um, hopefully it fits perfect in the pocket because it's kind of like a go or no go, pass or fail kind of situation. I mean, you could always make it work, but I want to try to get it as close to, yeah, because you could see it's pretty tight. I mean, I drew the lines and it's pretty tight on the void. So, I mean, you got to be right dead on because one way you're, 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 you're dipping into there, but... Yeah, and then the, the bridge. I've got the, the pickup will be here t today. So I might wait for the pickup to actually, but I, this is the uh, location of where the pickup's going to go. But I might wait to see the pickup size because I'd hate to cut this and uh, it to be 
not what I wanted. I mean, it should be like the the black pickup that was already in there, but white, put the white covers, the two single, you know, just a regular Strat style pickup, but really hot. I think the homage is like 15.7 or something like that. So it's going to be really killer. And this is going to be flipped over, of course, because like that. But all right, let's, let's move all this outside. Well, not all this, but just the, look at the scroll saw and cut out this pick card. <laughs> Fingers crossed we do it well enough. But yeah, and then that'll be cool. Then I'll sand on this if I get that. And then we'll go with the two-in-one Krylon over this other stuff. It seems like it's hard and pretty good. So it's it's been a day. So all right, we'll see you in a little bit. Fingers crossed. Long-winded intro. We'll see you in a bit. All right, got the operation moved outside. Let's see how perfectly I can cut this with the scroll saw. All right, fingers crossed. We do it well. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Take our time. All right, successful cutout. Uh, rough cutout, actually. Uh, I'm going to refine it. I'm going to get the edges perfect and everything like that. But not too shabby. All right, it looks pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, I filled in the gap and everything, so it's going to be cool. So I'm going to put a bevel on the edge. I got my Dremel tool out, got my sandpaper, got all my good tools and everything like that. So let's make this uh, pick card perfect. So then we can start working on the finish again. So let's get dialed in and installed, actually. And then, like I said, I'll wait for the, uh, the bridge, the pickup to come in to cut out the bridge pickup to get that exactly lined up perfect with this one because this one was pretty in line and I want to make sure it's perfect to that so use that as template all right we'll see you in a little bit all right another quick update successful uh cutout and I got the holes lined up uh looks pretty good it's uh pretty pretty damn close close enough for me <laughs> so that's pretty awesome so what I'll do is I'll uh get the screws that I'm going to use and uh, ordered a bunch of these screws, but I'm going to get out the, uh, the Dremel. Well, I got the proper Dremel now, and I'll bore these holes, and then I'll install this. And then we'll see how it goes. Um, wish I had the pickup that I was going to use, but I just want to make sure that's going to be the right size, because I'd hate to cut out for the the opening there. And the same thing with the, the volume uh, push-pull and the kill switch. So... I'll do that when the pickup comes in, so that's not a big deal. So and I got my template here, <clears throat> and this will line it up correctly as far as where it needs to be. So it's pretty cool. All right, let me get the the Dremel and countersink and install this on the, the body itself, and we'll be right back. All right, successful creation of the new pick guard. It looks awesome. Yeah, all right, and then I countersunk the holes. And it, it looks good, and all the I, te I tested the screws, and, and it fits perfectly. All right, so we got that done. So now we can uh, continue work on the body. So let me uh, wrap this up, and we'll get the body prepped, and we'll start sanding on it, and get ready for some two-in-one Krylon, two-in-one uh, primer coats. Yeah, the good stuff. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, just like that, we got a new pick guard. And it looks on there, it looks awesome. It's gonna look good with that glitter blue. Uh, it's gonna be so badass. And then the uh, the white pickup there. I could go with a chrome pickup. I do have a hot chrome pickup that I could use in this. Uh, and I would add definitely more bling to the bling factor. But I did order a white Strat style hot pickup, a single pickup. And then we're gonna use a Strat style push pull for the coil split and then a kill switch so but we'll do that when that comes in but yeah it looks pretty cool that is bad the bone it's got that film on there so when i peel that off it's going to be real shiny and bright so we are good to go success wow that looks cool that's cool and i corrected the gap and i adjusted a little bit from the other one and made this one a little bit more hooky hooky if that's a word term hooky can't wait till the new chrome bridge comes in and everything like that so yep there we go. All right, let me uh, clean up my mess. I always make a mess. And then we'll start sanding on this and we'll start getting some primer coats ready. And we can primer this and we'll start working on the neck. <sighs> okay, the battery is low power mode. So I don't know what all I said. I was looking at the screen. So it looks pretty cool. I can't wait for the bridge to come in and uh, chrome. Anyway, so let me clean up my mess before I make a mess. And uh, 
charge the battery on the phone, so blah blah, and then we'll start sanding on it, and we'll start ready for some two in one crow on spray on uh, primer coats. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, how's everybody doing? We are green lit for round two of primer coats. We're gonna go with the crow on two in one. We're gonna put a coat on there, and then let that cure for a little while and sand that. But it's looking pretty good. Everything seems to be smooth and flat. I blew it off a couple times. Probably would blow it off one more time before I finish. And put some 2K on here. I fixed the little spot that was there. I think the 2-in-1 uh, 2K will cover that up and clear it up real good. But alright, and we'll see in a sec. Alright, Krylon once again has proven its superiority as far as a 2-in-1 primer. Wow, look at that. All right, let me get this in the house. It's still drying, you can see right there. But wow, yeah. All right, looks pretty good. Heck yeah. All right, let's see a little bit. 